Hey guys, how you doing? Dr. Dave here, the RV dummy. And yes, sometimes I feel like a dummy, but not today. Not today. I'm about to show you our brand new uh, used van. It's a Pleasure Way XL TS. Um, Yoko and I picked it up in uh, from a very, very, very lovely couple in Toledo, Ohio, just last weekend. It's only got, it's a 2007, only has 10,000 miles on it. They took immaculate care of this thing. It, it literally looks like it just came off of the showroom floor. And we were just fortunate and blessed to find not only a beautiful rig, but such a nice couple that we trusted. And uh, they were they could not have been any nicer during the whole transaction. So we really appreciate that from Bill, uh, from Bruce, Bruce and Sue. Um, so let me go ahead and flip the camera around and show you uh, from the outside in Sirene 2. You ready? Here we go. Let's flip it around here. So here is the front. It's built on a Ford. Uh, it's I think what is an F300. I'll check that out when we get around the back, but I'm pretty sure it's an F300. I'm sorry, maybe, I'm sorry, I take it back. E300, E300, E350. See, it shows how much I know. I'm the RV dummy. I don't get involved in such details, but here's what it looks like from the front. Just take a look at the tire tread. I mean, these tires literally, I mean, they're brand new. They, they, they just replaced the tires a very, very short time ago. So we got four like incredibly brand new tires and two brand new batteries, the coach battery and the chassis battery. Brand spanking new here. Back up a little bit, show you what it looks like this way. Let's take a little walk around. Here is where we hook up the um, the shore power, the AC power. Uh, we've got your LP our, our propane tank down there. We here's where you hook up the city water right down there. Our um, here's how you drain drain the tanks, the gray water and uh, and uh, black water tanks right here. Uh, just some storage right here. Pleasure way. Yes. Yeah, so, so let me make sure I was right. Yeah. It's an E350. I believe that probably stands for probably Econoline, I think built on the Econoline van, but here's what this baby looks like from the outside. They got this brand new, like this, uh, towing system right here. It's just beautiful. Look at, look at the care they took. I mean, it looks like a brand new exhaust pipe. Um, Maybe they didn't drive this thing much. Well, I guess they didn't drive it much if it's only got 10,000 miles on it. But here, is, here it is as it sits in our driveway right now. And shall we take a look inside? And now that's it. Oh, see, this thing right here is an, is an awning. Am I pointing to that's that's an, <laughs> that's an awning right there. So on a sunny day, we can extend that, and it gives it like a nice shaded area. So let's go inside, and I'll just give you like a little quick tour. And I'm going to show you the immaculate condition this thing's in. So let's see if it's bright enough in here. Let's take a walk right inside the van with me. Sirene 2. I will turn, let's, let's turn some lights on just to make sure here. Um, that's a little better. Okay, cool. That's, I think that's good, 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 good. Okay, so here's the front. Let me tell you, we drove this from Toledo, Ohio to Ricerstown, Maryland, and it could not have been any smoother. This thing drives. Oh yeah, that's a little stuffed animal we got at one of the truck stops when we had Sirene One. Um, but this thing drives, and look at the seats. Look how look how comfortable these things are. They're they're um they're not real leather. Thank God they're le it's some kind of like leatherette. But it's very 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 comfortable. Extremely comfortable. Just um, just kind of sink right into it beautifully. Um, this thing right here it is an outdated system so i'm going to go ahead it's a cd but it doesn't have it does not have bluetooth it doesn't even have a um you know usb uh, auxiliary in or anything like that so i'm going to go ahead and replace that with a um we're going to get a you know big screen here with a backup camera and all the latest you know bluetooth um and all that stuff with this with a good stereo system there uh so let's see let's back up a little bit so i can show you it's got this is just one big, oh, so over overhead, it's got one big storage area right here. Uh, look at all, I mean, a lot of room to store stuff. Here are the control panels. See that? Everything you need to control this thing. That's the start, that'll start the generator up. This uh, monitor is the battery, the fresh water tank, the black water tank, gray water tank. Um, another light right here light switch right there uh let's see let's go this way 
let's go this way right here. So here is the um, microwave. And I can't get back far enough to really show you, but that's it's a microwave. And under, directly underneath the microwave is a nice closet. And look at the space in here. It's just, this is like, this is like bigger than my closet in my house. It's got tons of space and we can hang things right there. It's just incredible. It's so much, so much different than Siren D1. Look at the, um, we've got tile floors. Tile floors. Yoko put some mats down just to kind of keep the floors clean right now. But um, here is... A refrigerator, bath towel, a dish towel, I should say, some drawers right here. That's our heater right there. That's it works on propane. So if it's cold outside, uh, we can get heat going here. Here is the sink. Let me go ahead and put this in a little sink. This comes up and that's a sink right there with the fault water faucet. The um, Bruce that owned this thing, he made, he custom made this little, it looks like a cutting board, right? But it's, it actually covers over the, um, the burner, the stove, just to, to kind of like more, a little more counter space when we're doing something else, but he made this thing. So that's, that's really pretty cool. Um, just more cabinet space above the, above here, more cab. It's got a lot of, a lot of cabinet space. As you can see now I'm facing the back of the van right here. Let's go down and take a look at the sofa that's in the back of the van. And this sofa will actually go down with the press of this button right here. With the press of this button, the sofa will go down. I, I can show you a little bit right here. Just I'll, I'll do it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Here we go. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it goes down. I'm going to put it back up. It goes down to a bed, a king-size bed, actually. Because when you put the sofa down and then extend these little things right here, it actually turns into a king size bed. Now I'm six two, and I got to admit, in Siren E1, I didn't have as much length as I would like. So I, when I slept, I was like a little like scrunched up, just a little bit. But this, I tested this, and I can totally lie down, totally straight. I think there's actually more room in this bed than there is in the king size bed in our home, <laughs> or about the same. It's it's very large, and I can I can totally totally stretch out, and it's very 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 comfortable. Okay, that was the bed. I'm gonna show you, let's go back um, this direction here. Last but not least, I think this is last but not least, but um, so take a look right here. This is our bathroom. Now, if you remember in Sarni 1, there was like a little toilet sitting there and, and you had to like, it was not totally, totally private. But as we go into this bathroom right here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and open this up. It's a real, oh, Yoko puts this, this these mats kind of get in the way. <laughs> It's a real private bathroom. I mean, like you walk into this room and there's the toilet, there's the vanity, the sink, drawers, a little window in case you want to look outside, towel holder. It's just, oh, med oh by the way, medicine cabinet. Look, how do you open this? Oh, there we go. Medicine cabinet. It's just Unbelievable. Oh, and yeah, and a shower. You can take a shower in here. So here's the shower hookup right there. So you can tell it's it's just so much better and so much more luxurious and cleaner. And, and the way it's the whole thing is laid out, it's just, um... oh, one more thing I forgot to show you. Hold on. Let me show this again. Well, hang on one sec. Here we go. It's got a TV and a, uh, a DVD player above that. Now, some of this, again, it's a little bit outdated just because um, it's not Bluetooth. It's not, it's not USB. There's no HDMI cable that I can place from my, you know, from a, from a, uh, from a computer. You can't do that. So I'm going to ultimately, it's no hurry, no hurry at all. But ultimately, I'm going to go ahead and, and probably upgrade something there. But again, no hurry. I just want to go ahead and, um, you know, figure this out. We'll do some camping. We'll have some fun. And then and then we'll take it slow. And then whatever we feel we need to upgrade, we will upgrade at the time. But no, no hurry. Because even in this condition, it's just, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's perfect. I mean, I could leave tomorrow for a camping trip and, and, and be totally fine with what I have here. Um, two more things. Oh yeah. I just noticed two more things. I'll show you. Here we go. Turn this around. Um, here's the heater thermostat. That's for the heater, for the furnace. And right here is the air conditioner. That's the air conditioning unit. So in the summer, when it gets hotter, of course, you know, we turn that on and that's, that's that. 
Okay, now I also, before I go, I want to thank you for, we got so many really nice comments from the last video we did um, when we were saying goodbye to Sirenie One, and Yoko did like a nice, um, kind of like an inspirational little talk during the video, and if you can find that, um, take a look, because we actually got a lot of really, Yoko actually, not me, Yoko got a lot of really, really nice comments from people said she was just so soothing and, and what she said was, you know, was just, um, she said, well, you know, uh, to paraphrase just in real quickly, what she said was something like, you know, it, it was a terrible thing that happened to Sarony one. Of course we had a fire, but, um, everything worked out really for the best. And when you have a bad situation, don't look at it as a bad situation. Look at it as kind of like a, like a, um, a, a stepping stone or a pathway to like something that it's going to get even better. And I think that's true with anything in life. If you have like a really tough situation, um, don't look at it as you failed. Something is horrible. Look at it as well. Now you've got an opportunity to make something even better. And as bad as some things really seem at the time, like I was crying. I was literally crying when Sarony one had the fire. And I knew in my heart that we probably wouldn't ever be, sorry, but would never be the same. I knew that. But then when the insurance company totaled it and they gave me a check and I was able to get this, it really is, it's like, we're blessed. It's so much, it's so much nicer. And sorry, one was good for the year. We learned a lot, but now we've stepped up our game and we're going to have some real, some real serious fun in sorry too. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Don't forget to watch more of my videos. They're there somewhere. Find them on my channel. See you later. Bye.